the Apple AirPods Studio. Are these Apple's first ever over-ear headphones? More details are being revealed every day. We at DHRME are super excited to see that the space that we've covered for the last four years is about to hit the big leagues. Let's have a real conversation about the rumors. First off, props to the indefatigable John Prosser of Front Page Tech. Check out his video in the description. He has been on point with leaks recently, right down to the names and the prices and the dates. So we'll base a lot of what we're talking off of that. It makes sense that Apple wants to go with AirPods. It's one of the world's most known brands. And anything with that name will fly off the shelves. Although we are a bit disappointed that they didn't go with our name suggestion, the hair pods. Don't worry, we'll survive. And you'll subscribe? They're rumored to be called AirPods Studio. And with its recent acquisition of Beats, it kind of makes sense that they use studio as a suffix. But then again, they've never really used Beats in any of their previous naming conventions. So it's not really a guarantee. At $349, these are super strong contenders to Sony's and Bose's noise-canceling flagships. I'm actually a bit surprised pleasantly to see that Apple hasn't used this Apple brand to charge a higher premium for these headphones. I mean, after all, they just cost the same as two of the wheels on a Mac Pro. Currently, only AirPods have a deep integration with iOS which means you can tweak the sound and noise cancelling straight out of the OS. Whereas for brands like Bose or Sony, you're going to have to go out there and grab their proprietary app. This makes the experience a little less smooth for users like us. And it doesn't help competitors that Apple keeps their walled garden so well walled. But it does help them maintain control over their devices and the interoperability between them and helps maintain that fat balance sheet. Considering that Apple already has noise cancelling tech for its AirPods Pro, it would be a no-brainer for Apple to include it in this model. However, they did take their time before they introduced noise cancelling into earphones, so maybe they keep it for the next model, who knows. But if they do go the noise cancelling route, you can bet your iPhone SE that they will reuse the settings from the AirPods Pro and add and subtract as required. So we think Apple can get away with making decent over-ear noise cancelling headphones and that's probably what they're going to do. But looking at Mark Gurman's latest leaks, it seems like Apple's going to take it to the next level and come out with interchangeable headbands. And this will customize how the Apple headphones look. The drivers will just snap on and off, very similar to the Apple Watch. It would also be cool if they did more with this, like quick attention a la Sony or the ability to change the noise cancelling level by turning a dial like the Microsoft Surface headphones. We know that Apple takes pride in experimenting with different input methods, so we definitely see this coming. So most reviewers have given the AirPods Pro a good review for their sound quality and we being relatively small YouTubers don't get stuff sent for free by Apple. We don't intend to stay small, so if you do like this video and you enjoy our styles, make sure to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to us and do share this video around. It would help a lot. They will work with Siri, but it will give the Bose and Sonys of this world an edge since they can work with multiple voice assistants across different platforms. But hey, if you're buying Apple headphones, you're probably so deep in their wall garden, you probably don't care about cross-platform compatibility. You've been listening to Idle Apple Gossip. And we've been DHRME.